Hello guys, if you are uh, looking for a wonderful preparation schedule for cat which tells you what you should do on a week by week basis and a day by day basis, go no further than to I am. So just check out the description here. It's a fabulous link. Click that and then just see what variant of it works for you. Download this, stick it somewhere and you're good to go. Best wishes. For a sequence of real numbers x1, x2, x3 till xn, if x1 minus x2 plus x3 minus till all the way till here, n square plus 2n for all natural numbers n. Then the sum x49 plus x50. All these questions, simple rule of thumb. Find x1, find x2, find x3. Get through. x1 should be 1 square plus 2 into 1. 1 plus 2, 3. x1 plus x2 or x1 minus x2. Minus x2 is 2 square plus 2 into 2, which is 8 x1 minus x2 plus x3 is 3 square plus 2 into 3 which is 9 plus 6 15. This thing minus x4 is 4 square plus 2 into 4 which is 16 plus 8 24. Nice. x1 is 3, x1 minus x2 is 8, so 3 minus x2 is 8. Or x2 is minus 5. x1 minus x2 is 8. Add x3, we get to 15. Or x3 is 7. x2 is minus 5. x1 is 3. From 15, we subtract x4 to get 24. 15 minus x4 is 24. Or x4. 15 minus 24, which is minus 9. Nice, we've got ourselves a beautiful pattern. 3 minus 5, 7 minus 9, 11 minus 13. Alternate plus and minus, just a series of autonomous. Then we sum x49 plus x50 equals. Very interesting, x49 plus x50. x1 plus x2 is minus 2. x3 plus x5 is minus 2. x3 plus x4 is minus 2. x5 plus x6 will be minus 2. Every pair of adjacent numbers that we're adding up will add up to minus 2. 3 minus 5 minus 2, 7 minus 9 minus 2, 11 minus 13 minus 2. So we keep on adding and getting the total to be minus 2 for each each chunk. So x49 plus x50 is also equal to minus 2. Yeah. Get the numbers, see the pattern, plonk in, get through. Two pipes A and B attached to them. M uh, attached to an empty water tank or attached to an empty water tank. Pipe A fills the tank while pipe B drains it. If pipe A is opened at 2 pm and pipe B is opened at 3 pm, the tank becomes full at 10. 2 to 8, 8 hours, 8 hours of A plus 7 hours of B fills the tank. B is a negative number in draining. Instead, if A is opened at 2 pm and pipe B is opened at 4 pm, the tank gets full at 2 pm. So pipe A is open for 4 hours. 4A. Pipe B is open only for 2 hours. Plus 2B is also the tank capacity. Or 8A plus 7B equals 4A plus 2B. 5B equals minus 4A. Or B is minus 4 by 5A. 4a plus 2 times minus 4 by 5a is 20a minus 12a by 5 which is a tank capacity. Tank capacity is 8a by 5. 8a minus 728 by 5. 7 into minus 4 is minus 28. 8a minus 28 by 5. Let me just check this. I think I made some issue with the numbers. 8a plus 7b is 4a plus 2b. So 4a is minus 5b. b is minus 4 by 5a. Nice. 4a minus 8 by 5a. Sorry. This is minus 8 by 5a. b should be 12a by 5. Wonderful. I subtracted and then put the number in. 20a minus 8a by 5 equals 12a by 5. So the tank capacity is 12a by 5. 
8a minus 7 into 4 by 5 should be 12 by 5. 4a minus 2 into 4 by 5 should be 12 by 5. Both should work. Lovely. If 5b is not opened at all, then the time in minutes taken to fill the entire tank. Watt into a is 12 by 5a. No b at all. The tank capacity is 12 by 5a. This should be 12 by 5. 12 by 5 is 2. 2 by 5. 2.4 hours. 2 hours is 120 minutes. 0.4 hours is 24 minutes. 120 plus 24. 144 minutes. Nice and simple question. All of these questions are there are two different time zones. One open, one closed. Equate the two pipe scenarios and then we are through. A person buys T of different quantities at 800, 500 and 300 per kg. For rice per kilogram. 800, 500, 300 and the amounts bought are on the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5. Amounts 2x, 3x, 5x. She mixes all the tea and sells one sixth of the mixture at 700 per kilogram. 2 plus 3 plus 5 adds up to 10. It is tougher to do a one sixth. So, what I am going to do? Multiply this by 3. Call this as 6 kgs, 9 kgs. 15 kgs, these three will add up to 30 kilograms. Let's say she has sells 5 kilograms, she'll have some remaining. <coughs> Lovely. The price in INR per kilogram at which she should sell the remaining to T to make an overall profit of 50%. She wants to make an overall profit of 50%. Let's start with that. So, how much is her cost? 6 into 800 is 4800. 9 into 500 is 4500. 15 into 300 is 4500. Add all of this up. 0, 0, 10, 18, 8, 1, 1, 3, 8, 0, 0. This 1, 3, 8, 0, 0 is our cost price into 1.5 is our selling price. She gets this by saying 5 kilogram at rupees 700, remaining 25 at some price. What we need to do is find that price. 1 sixth of 30 is 5 kilograms that she sells at 700. The remaining at some price she sells, we need to find that price. 138 into 3 by 2. 1.5 is 3 by 2. So 6900 into 3. 00, 0 93 is 27. 72, 18. 207, 20,700 equals 3500 plus 25x. So from this, we subtract this 3500. Bring that this side. 0, 0. 17,200 is 25x or x is 17,200 by 25. 172 into 4, 8, 8, 688, rupees 688 per kilogram. Luckily, that they are among our choices. That's the number. Nice and simple question. Pick the numbers so that this one sixth thing becomes equal easier to compute.